What's going on everyone and welcome back to Too Much Tech and in today's video we're going to be unboxing the ra- hold on, hold on, let me change this to green because it's Razer. Welcome back to Too Much Tech and in today's video we're going to be unboxing the Xbox One Razer Wolverine Ultimate Controller. So this is the better version of the Wolverine Tournament Edition that I reviewed what feels like so long ago by now and yeah we're gonna unbox the ultimate edition do some direct comparisons with the wolverine tournament edition and see did i make a mistake when i bought the tournament edition assuming that the durability will be better because of different paddle design or was i right and the paddles on the ultimate edition are junk i don't know let's check it out try it out see what we think of course this just being the unboxing i will be doing a full review on this controller as well be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new so you don't miss my full review of the ultimate edition of the wolverine it's a letter from razor a little instruction booklet or whatever cable is here so i pop that out this controller is like pretty old i guess too by today's standards i think this has been out for like over two or three years at this point i think i want to say but yeah i'm pretty sure that at some point razor is gonna release like an xbox one x edition of these controllers so did i say xbox one x i mean the xbox series x new xbox uh, xbox whatever i don't know whatever is going to be called i think i don't even know if microsoft have like made up their mind on that stuff but a little protective cover here now honestly this one does not feel a ton different than the tournament edition like these sticks feel kind of different but that's just because i've been using control freaks on mine for who knows how long but obviously the reason that i was using control freaks was just to get a bit more grip yeah so these sticks the surface at least feels exactly the same and one thing i will say is that because one of the other reasons why i use control freaks is because the surface is kind of slippery so that is definitely one of the reasons why i got those because these sticks do not have any kind of grip at all and that goes for both of them same buttons up here, same little RGB strip. I like how they made, you know, black plastic here and then like this uh, brushed aluminum grayish magnetic metallic type plastic up here. I think it looks cool. It looks obviously like super similar to the Elite controller, so I'm pretty sure that's why they did it. You still do have this little RGB light strip right here that I loved on the Wolverine Tournament Edition. I mean, you know, it's a Razer product, absolutely has to have rgb couple different stick options the heck oh i don't i don't think i was supposed to rip that out just some double-sided tape so let me go ahead and throw this right back here <laughs> this is the cable nice probably really long braided cable we'll throw this in the case now the tournament edition does not come with the case the ultimate edition does come with the case this controller is not wireless either it's a fully wired controller because xbox doesn't really have like a lot of third-party wireless controllers that's one main difference between xbox and sony so keep that in mind let's see how okay that was easy i was gonna say let's see how we pop these sticks on and off they're magnetic as well this thing has some heavy inspiration from the uh original elite controller taller thumbstick a greater range of motion i like that this dome thumbstick I'm not gonna lie this feels like a playstation 2 thumbstick and it's like really, really slippery. I, I, I don't think I love it. Now, how do I pop this one out? Oh, okay. Thumbnail, perfect, magnetic. Okay, this D-pad is really nice though. I do like this bigger D-pad without the separated buttons. Like these are good, don't get me wrong. When they're not inside though, the feedback that I get from these is not really that great though. So we'll go ahead and pop these old thumbsticks or the short thumbsticks, I should say, and the other D-pad back into the case this case is sturdy too like this thing is nice i can really get on board with this case they should have put this one in the old in the uh, um tournament edition too like this case is super solid button response is good feels all exactly the same as i can't tell if like these buttons feel slightly different than these probably because i've used this controller for almost two years but it doesn't feel better or worse it just feels a little bit different so maybe the mechanical buttons on the face buttons are slightly different between them they sound a little bit different but i don't know if that's because of where or what i will say that these have a little bit more of a springy feel this one still is kind of springy 
I wouldn't really say that one feels faster or slower than the other though. Now, obviously on the tournament edition, we don't have these inline controls right here. I think this is probably for like a profile or something. I don't know what this button does. We'll see in a full review mute button. And then this is probably like a volume button or something like that. All this stuff I'll go over again in the full review. So don't hold me to it in the comment section. Like, gosh. And then right here we have these very interesting looking paddles. So I don't really know how I feel about these yet. Let's test them out in just a second. But obviously on the tournament edition, you only had two on the ultimate edition. You have four. And then of course you have these added buttons right here that are exactly the same as the tournament edition trigger stops, of course. So honestly, I'm looking and feeling these paddles. I don't really know if I'm in love with the placement of them. Like it just feels kind of off. Like basically for me to comfortably reach these paddles, I'm using my middle fingers more to reach the bottom two that look like they would be the most ergonomic, but really that's not the case. And then I'm using my fingers that I would normally use on these paddles right here that are much lower on the controller. I'm using these for these higher up paddles that are more toward the middle of the controller. So I'm not sure really how I feel about this yet. We're gonna have to see in the full review, but uh, I just don't know. The stick glide though for sure is smoother on the Ultimate Edition than it is the Tournament Edition. But yeah guys, before we end this video, I do wanna show you the RGB on this Razer controller. Man, this is freaking stunning, man. Like for a controller, this looks so good like the, i'm pretty sure the camera doesn't fully do it justice like how good it looks like you pick this thing up and you're looking at this controller you're like what the heck like since when do controllers do this only razor <laughs> only razor but like the diffusion of the light just the effects you can change these effects too in a razor synapse for windows or for xbox in the full review, I'll go over like all the software and all that stuff too, that you can use to customize both of these controllers actually, because it is pretty in depth, but it's really simple to use. But all right, you guys, that is gonna be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to stay tuned because at some point I will upload the review of the Wolverine Ultimate and I will probably do a quick comparison between this the Wolverine Tournament Edition, and the Power A Fusion Pro Controller as well. The Elite, uh, I've already done like a big video with like the Elite comparison compared to the other controllers, so I will have that linked in the description below. Maybe I'll pin a comment as well so it's easier for you guys to find. If you wanna see how the Elite Controller stacks up to the rest of the bunch, obviously not including the Wolverine Tournament Edition. Who knows, maybe I'll do a video on that too individually. Well, I don't know. The Elite is just not as good. I almost feel the same way about this one. This paddle design on the back is really throwing me off. And I don't know if I'm going to like this one, to be honest. I like that a lot of the features are similar to the Tournament Edition, but um, the paddle design is kind of throwing me for a whirl. But that's all I got for you guys. Drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. I will catch you in the next video.